Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with a video about yellowing orchid leaves. One of my subscribers asked me some questions about the yellow leaves that they saw in my video, and so I thought it might be a good idea to share the limited knowledge that I have about why leaves go yellow and when we should be concerned. So I have a few examples um, that I took out of my collection to try to show you the different reasons why you might see yellow leaves on your plants. Um, it's not always um, a sign that the orchid is dying or that it has a problem. Sometimes it's just age. Um, you'll notice in nature, all things that are green have a life cycle and most um, leaves or green growth at some point or another, um, and there I'm sure are some exceptions, but in a general sense, there is an age process to the leaves. So sometimes the leaves uh, yellowing and falling off are just a sign that that particular growth is old and cycling out. Um, so a lot of you have um, Phalaenopsis orchids, and in general, you can tell when it is a healthy aging process when it is the back or bottom leaves that are yellowing and falling off. Um, now, sometimes it can be a sign that there's a problem with the roots. Uh, in general, when you're growing in water culture, you can tell right away that there's a problem with the roots, but if you're growing with your plants in a potting medium and um, you haven't repotted your orchid in quite a while, it could be a sign that the roots are not doing their job as well. And so the plant is sacrificing lower leaves in order to get the nutrients that it needs. It basically absorbs the nutrients in the leaf and then the leaf dies off. So if you haven't repotted your orchid in a while and you don't have a really good view of their roots, it might be a good idea to check that out if you're noticing that quite a few of the older leaves are starting to yellow and fall off. Another thing that would indicate a problem and not just age is if a higher leaf falls off. So for instance, this particular plant um, has, she's a little top heavy because her spike is really heavy. Um, this particular plant has quite a few leaves as you can see. If this leaf up here suddenly starts to turn yellow, especially from the base and not from the tip, that could be a sign that there might be stem rot. That's what actually happened with this orchid. This is my favorite Phalaenopsis. It's a Violacea cross. And I almost lost her to stem rot because she did, but what told me that she was sick was that one of the higher leaves started to uh, yellow from the base. And it's actually a different yellow than just a natural aging process. It's, it's actually, it, the leaf actually looks wet. Um, so I knew something was wrong. I immediately went into emergency surgery <laughs> and I pulled the bottom leaves off. I found the stem rot. I put cinnamon on it to dry it out. And I, I didn't think she was going to survive, but indeed she has. She's very healthy now. She's getting a spike. So it is possible to rec rescue an orchid with stem rot if you find it early enough. So it is a good idea to pay attention to those yellow leaves, but don't panic, especially if it's lower growths um, and they have a lot of leaves, a lot of times it's just age. It's just showing that the, the particular leaf is old. And like I said, if you haven't repotted it in a while and you're concerned, it might be a good idea to take it out of the pot, refresh that media and check on the roots. Now, another thing that could cause our orchid leaves to turn yellow is too much light. Um, and I have a few examples here. Uh, this is one of my Cattleyas. This is, she's bloomed for me, I've seen, ooh, she doesn't wanna give up her tag. Um, Elsie Secret Love. She's got really pretty pink blooms with yellow sun, with yellow lips. Um, she wasn't blooming for me when I first got her, so I actually put her in much stronger light and I it was too strong too quick. So as you can see, her older um, pseudobulbs, their, her leaves are yellow and that's because she got too much light too quickly. So um, her newer growths are better. They're handling the light really well because they're growing in that light. So it wasn't a shock to them, but as you can see, anything that was older on the plants, it was too too quick. I put her in brighter light way too quick. Um, and then this is my, oh dear, Wilsonara 
penny candy. Yeah, eye candy, penny candy. So this is uh, one of my plants that blooms faithfully for me every year. I had moved her um, out of her spot and up on this shelf, which has a fair amount of um, LED lights and also a fair amount of light that comes through the window. And so she did also get light way too quick. And so some of her older leaves, um, this one actually is burnt. This one, you know, it just turned yellow. Now it's not ideal for a plant to have yellow leaves. So it's not like you put it in the sun and you go, oh, okay, so it's just too much sun. Unfortunately, when the leaves do yellow, um, they do not photosynthesize. And that is a necessary thing for the plant. And so this isn't ideal. You don't want this to happen. You want to avoid this if you can. And one of the ways to do that, if you think the plant needs brighter light to bloom or for whatever reason, just slowly move it into that brighter light. Um, don't just put it in the, in the light like I did. Um, so those are two examples of plants um, that the light was too bright. Now there's also burning or damage that can be caused by brighter light, which is, this is an example. This is my Runco Stylus Gigantia. She's, as you can see, she's in spike. I moved her to a brighter window um, in my den actually. And this is what resulted. She got very strong afternoon light and she actually, um, some of her leaves got burnt. I have several of my um, Phalaenopsis where their leaves can't, where I can't control how much light they get, they do burn. So for instance, um, this orchid's very, very healthy, but the lower leaf, I can't seem to keep it back from the LED light. And so it, it did burn where the light is shining on it. Um, but it's a very healthy plant, so I'm not too concerned about that lower leaf. As you can see that leaf up there, the light is hitting it in such a way that it's causing a burn. So, you know, these are just things that you wanna keep an eye on and those are examples of what it's gonna look like. Now I have this plant back here that I wanted to show you actually, but the leaf fell, fell off before I could show you, but I did keep it so I could. So this leaf, if I can grab it, this, this leaf just fell off today while I was getting this video ready. It was on this bulb right here. This leaf turning yellow and falling off does not concern me because it's an old, old pseudobulb. This is the life cycle of the leaf. The leaf is now, dead the plant doesn't need it anymore and so it dropped the leaf um the same thing with this one it's starting to turn yellow it's just the life cycle of that pseudobulb there are two other pseudobulbs behind it and that's just the way that this plant grows this plant on its older pseudobulbs as you can see all the older pseudobulbs do not have leaves so i'm not concerned about this leaf turning yellow and falling off it's part of its life cycle so then you have other causes for instance uh, nutrient deficiencies um, this, these are two examples of what I believe to be nutrient deficiencies. This is my Lelia, no, <laughs> Latoria um, atroviolacea. She went through a period of very stark, no root situation. And so her new growths, um, you know, they came out and they looked great. And then the tips started to turn brown. Um, this is my Saiku Marguerite. She is pitiful right now. Um, as you can see, the tips of her leaves have turned yellow. This is a sign of a nutrient deficiency, and it's not surprising because her root system is atrocious. I overwatered this plant. I did not pay attention, and now um, she is in a rescue state. She will come around, I'm sure. Um, I've rescued plants that are worse off than this, but this is a, this is a sign of stress. This is not good. <laughs> so she is one of my ICU um, plants. And, you know, I mean, I'm not going to be too cocky. She may not pull through, but I think that she has enough reserves. Um, and she does have some new roots that are down. Um, I'll show you. Down underneath this sock that you can see here. So I think she's going to be okay. But for that time period that the root system had been killed by my, my overwatering, she was not getting proper nutrients. And so the signs of that are being shown here. I also have... Um, my Maxillaria tenufolia, you can see the tips of her uh, leaves are turning brown, but I actually did that on purpose. <laughs> so I have found from my Maxillaria tenufolia, I have to basically deprive her of nutrients um, for several weeks, if not several months in the winter to get her to bloom. Um, if I don't do that, she continues to grow. She doesn't realize it's winter. She doesn't realize it's time to, to bloom and she will not bloom for me. So I restrict water and I restrict nutrients and that does cause some die off 
on several of her older leaves. But again, I did that on purpose. I'm controlling this. I know that that's her behavior. And that's something that I really encourage you to find out. Whatever plant you have, look up its growth patterns and then you'll be a little bit more comfortable when you see these natural things happening. You'll know what the cause is and it won't be like a panic moment for you. For instance, I have several deciduous um, dendrobiums. So this is my pendulum and it just recently dropped its last, last leaf. So as you can see, there is not a leaf on this cane, but I'm not panicked because I know that that is the behavior. It's a deciduous orchid, it drops its leaves um, so that's what it did and it's fine. As you can see, it's got a new growth coming here. It's got a flower spike here. Um, this is another one of my deciduous orchids. It didn't get the memo yet. <laughs> so it does still have some canes with green growth, but these are going to start to yellow soon and fall off. And I'm not going to panic because I know that this is the behavior pattern of this particular orchid. It does need to be trimmed. It's, it's got some really old canes that need to be trimmed off. The root system needs to be addressed, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I'm not going to panic when those leaves turn yellow and start to fall off. So like I said, there are several reasons why leaves do turn yellow. And it is a really good indication to you um, to just kind of check the plant and make sure that everything's okay, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the plant is dying or you have to panic depending on the situation. Now, there are things like temperature drops. You know, if you allow the orchid to be exposed to extremely low temperatures suddenly, um, it could manifest itself in the leaves. There's also disease. Um, there are certain um, browning patterns or yellow patterns, um, like rings that can indicate that there is a disease present. But the internet is a great resource for that. There are a lot of orchid societies that do put out papers on different things that you need to be concerned about with your orchid, and you can certainly look that up. But my primary encouragement to you is research the type of orchid you have. If you have a Phalaenopsis, re research their growth pattern. If you have a Cattleya, do the same thing. If you have a Dendrobium, find out if it's a deciduous Dendrobium or um, if it's going to maintain its leaves throughout the year really educate yourself on the pattern of growth and this way when there is a problem <laughs> you're going to know there's a problem and you're going to know how to handle it based on what you see and uh, it'll make you feel a lot more confident growing your plants so i hope that that was educational i tried to give you examples of each type of problem uh, whatever i have in my grow room and uh, if you have any questions certainly uh, do post those questions and I hope you guys are all having a lovely week and I will talk to you all next time.